there toy here so today obviously this video is a little bit different I am sitting at home on my couch I'm not in my usual um, recording spot and that's for a couple of reasons I'm pooped <laughs> I don't know when I'll get a chance to shoot this video where I would normally shoot it so I just want to go ahead and get it done so I apologize for the change in scenery um, another reason why I'm doing this is because I'm doing a wrap-up video for the Tidewater Comic Con and I'm basically just going to kind of be going through some of the pictures that I took of the event. When I edit this you'll be seeing the images as I'm kind of telling you what they are. So it made sense for me to record it while I was actually going through the images. So before I get to that um, I just want to say I had a great time at the Tidewater Comic Con. Um, it has been consistently like my best event of the year. Um, I hope to maybe branch out and try some other um, com Comic Cons down the road. But I wanted to go ahead and just announce now, just kind of make it official. I am taking a year off from doing cons. Um, I feel like I've reached a point where I really need to focus on my writing. So I'm going to be kind of taking a step back from a lot of things that I've been doing and focusing on my writing. I'll also be doing some other um, blog projects that um, will be occupying some of my time so I think it'll just be a good thing to just maybe you know take a year off and kind of you know regroup and with that I'm hoping that when I do get back to pursuing cons in 2019 um, I'll have a lot of new content I'm hoping to really just kind of wrap up my eternal curse series <laughs> at least finish the third book in the series I've always had it kind of playing around in my head that there might be another book in the series but I'm not going to do another book just for the sake of doing another book if it works out that way fine but I won't know until I've, I've finished the third book I also want to finish the second book in the sayings series that's actually my contemporary book that I write under the pen name Glory Townsend and I have notes upon notes upon notes about it but I haven't you know you know really finished it I've got a couple of chapters in but nothing really solid so I want to take some time to work on the second book in that series and I was hoping to launch a new fantasy series uh, We Are Jardin you know this April it just didn't work out and as I've had time to kind of reflect on it I think I want to take some time and make sure that that series really gets the launch that it deserves so I want to try to work on that before <laughs> moving forward Plus, I have a lot of other ideas that I want to try to pursue, and I just think I need to take some time. So, I don't want to, you know, bore you guys too much with that, but let me just kind of give you some of my takeaways from the con. Sorry. So, I did three cons this year. I did one online con, the B2B PsyCon. I did the Raven Con, where I actually got to be a guest speaker for the first time, and that was amazing. And then the Tidewater Comic Con. I will say that by far in terms of um, sales the Tidewater Comic Con is always my best event and it was the same this year it was the best event um, as far as sales go it was a lot of fun just like all of the events are fun so I would say it's you know about equal there um, actually in terms of sales I did better at the Tidewater Comic Con last year than I did this year but I still did pretty good um, I feel like as far as exposure goes I, I feel like I got a lot more exposure um, at the Tidewater Comic Con than I did say the B2B or the Raven Con but I felt like I made some more connections at the Raven Con than I did at the Tidewater Comic Con so again that one's kind of up in the air I don't really know how well I did with the connections at Tidewater Comic Con but I feel like a lot more people got to see you know my product so that was good so now without further ado let's kind of look through some of these pictures um, from the Tidewater Comic Con and let's see first up here's a picture of me big smile on my face this is kind of my reveal showing um, my Facebook people what I was gonna look like that day and here I am this is actually a uh, Wednesday Adams dress but I wasn't really trying to go as Wednesday Adams so I, I really changed it up a bit I put on the uh, red and black tights and uh, put um, some red bows in my hair to you know fix it up and yeah there is my dog photo bombing me 
<laughs> so let's see when I actually got to the um, event here I am setting up my table I don't know why my husband took this picture I guess he thought it was cute this is the official me at my booth picture that I shared on um, Facebook and actually I shared all of these pictures on Facebook so if you want to see them I'll leave a link below and so this was a picture of my booth neighbor um, I think I can't remember her name was um, I want to say it was like Paramore Panda or something like that again if you want to know I'll, I'll leave the information below but she was really cool she had a lot of um, jewelry made from like dice and stuff so that was interesting and then this guy was across from me faith and fandom finding God in geek culture I got his book I'm so excited to read it uh, I'm gonna have to bump some things off my list Oof. I'm not even gonna talk about that reading challenge right now that's another video but I'll be adding his book I'm very excited about reading it and getting into that and seeing you know kind of his pr perspective it's basically like his uh, thoughts and opinions on how you could find God in different geek culture and he covers like all different kinds of fandoms we're talking books movies TV video games so I'm really interested to you know read that and then here's the cosplay this young woman is um, wearing a steampunk outfit that she made herself I just thought she looked amazing so I took her picture and this is actually a service dog. Like he was there, he was working, but I thought it was so cool that his owner, um, you know, dressed him up, even though, you know, he was working um, that day. He got to, you know, participate. So these guys, I thought they looked um, pretty cool. This is, you know, um, they, they're just up as Han Solo and Boba Fett, and they were posing for a picture for someone else, and I just kind of snuck in a picture. And then, let's see, next we have, oh, the Scooby Doo family. I thought they were so cute. Um, the whole family is each a different character from Scooby-Doo and, and the little kid is Scooby, so I thought that was cute. And this girl's an anime character. I cannot for life remember me what, but she was, you know, she was working it, so I took her picture. And, of course, this is um, Merida, and she's got a lot of little cool things on her, but I thought she looked great, a lot of fun. And, of course, we have, you know, the queen of, uh, mother of dragons here, <laughs> the queen. So, yeah, this is from Game of Thrones. I thought these guys looked really good. And this is a cool Groot. And these two, this is Pac-Man and a ghost. I thought they were a really cute couple. A lot of fun. These are homemade Lego costumes. This is um, Star-Lord and Groot. And those were so cute. Those kids kept getting stopped like every five seconds. And of course we have Catwoman. Being the Batman fan that I am, I had to take a picture of this really cool Catwoman. There were some other like Batmans there, but some of the Batmans didn't look all that great. <laughs> so, but she looked good. So I took her picture. And then this girl... Uh, she's a hodgepodge character. She was she told me she was inspired by Maleficent, but she's not actually Maleficent So I don't know, but I thought she looked cool and Orko I had to take that picture. That's just cute and then this is um, Furiosa from Mad Max. She was working it too and then this is uh, Mr. Sinister. I wish I had gotten a picture of the back because the back was really cool. This guy, I've seen him at the comp before. He usually comes as Judge Dredd. He came the next day as Dredd and he was awesome as Dredd. But he looked really good as Mr. Sinister. And then we have a raven. There were a lot of ravens. I think I have some more pictures of some ravens. And there I am with She-Hulk. She is the tiniest She-Hulk I've ever seen. But she had such a great personality. I was like, I have to take a picture with this woman. You know, she was awesome. And then we have, oh, here's a, a raven and a beast boy. They're cute. And then this is Luke Cage. Uh, like, this is old school Luke Cage. <laughs> I, didn't, I don't remember seeing anyone as the new Luke Cage, but I guess it would be a little difficult to do him because he just looks like a really big black dude in a hoodie. So, <laughs> but I thought he looked good. And this was one of my faves. A lot of people didn't know who this guy was, but this is Seymour and Audrey too from um, Little Shop of Horrors. I thought his costume was great. And then, of course, we have some Sith Lords there. And then, oh, this character, of course, I can't remember her name right now, but she's from Saga. I love her character. She's, you know, a tough character. And this guy was awesome. Like, he made these costumes for him and his wife, and they look great. It's a wonderful Doctor Strange. And, uh, and of course, Aku, he was awesome. Like, I kept waiting for Samurai Jack to show up, but I never saw Samurai Jack. And then Carl from the Aqua Ting Hunger Force. I don't even like Aqua Ting Hunger Force, but I love Carl because he does his stone cold like pick of the century of the week for like football and I loved the fact that this guy showed up as Carl it was awesome and then here I am for day two trying to be fun this is not what I had to plan um, plan to wear that day I actually had a Harley Quinn outfit that I had picked out but it had a hole in it and I was like heartbroken but I, I just you know I made it work anyway with something else and so um, this is the table of Arthur um, Charity Iris. She's awesome. She was at RavenCon. We shared a table. And so here's her table. And uh, check her out. 
and oh this was cute I, this is just something this woman dressed up on a skateboard and she said someone made it for her it's, she has it all the time I just thought it was cute and this is a cute Goku like he was so happy to like take pictures for people and then of course this guy like I'm pretty sure he was professional like they paid him to be there and take pictures with people there were all kinds of little girls running around dressed up as Moana it was so sweet you know and so I thought it was great that he was there too more anime characters they just look awesome and then um a, a take on Jack and Oogie Boogie and then Daria and Jane yeah I love it I had to take their picture and yes that is one creepy penguin he was awesome and then um I can't remember if she's Skeletor or something else because I know I got her confused with another character either way she looks really awesome in her um cosplay and then an Ewok isn't she cute oh I love it and then oh yeah the kids from Stranger Things they're all girls but they have the characters down pat like it's awesome they're so cute and then oh yeah this is the young Maleficent um she looks great I think she won a contest I'm not sure she should have oh this is Jafar you don't see a lot of Jafars so that's why I had to take this picture I'm like you're dressed up as Jafar that's awesome she looks great and then here's Oogie Boogie and the print, uh, Corpse Bride. And these kids were just taking a picture in front of them. I just kind of snuck my picture in. But I wanted to have this picture of Oogie Boogie and the Princess Bride and all those other characters. And then this guy is Tank Girl. There were some other Tank Girls there, but I just thought he had great spunk, you know. So I thought he was a good Tank Girl. And then there I am with my book that I got from Faith and Fandom. It was kind of the wrap-up to my event. So yeah, that was, you know, my... Uh, Tidewater Comic Con 2017 um, I can't wait to you know do it all again a year from now because I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna take some time off so won't be doing it in 2017 um, well it is 2019 won't be doing it in 2018 but I'll be back um, hopefully for 2019 with a bunch of new stuff to share and yeah so bye bye for now